Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Ray Torian. And Jinx here. And welcome to the first Descendant on the PlayStation 5. So this is a free-to-play game that just released on, I think, just about all the, the platforms. And like most free-to-play games, you know, you can download it for free, but it does have microtransactions. Now, we've only played a couple missions so far. It does have a story. I don't know how engaging it is thus far. I'm too distracted by my boobs and all the cuts. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> yeah, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm trying to show everybody. Oh, sorry. Jinx's boobs are they are hanging on full out. display. And they are uh, there's jiggly physics as well. It's like I don't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's already been some a little bit of drama about that because of one of the outfits with uh, the character Bunny, I think. I saw some stuff online that people were upset about it. But anyways, the other thing that people are upset about is the microtransactions. Some people say that they're, uh, I don't know, a little grievous, a little too distracting. And that uh, if you don't, if you don't want to purchase anything, that there's too much grinding. I don't know if that's the case or not. That's not what I've experienced, but again, we've only played a couple missions. And it seems like every level you're unlocking new stuff, so... Um, one thing I will say about the game is that we have not had any connectivity issues. Which is actually kind of rare for video games coming out these days. We'll talk about more of that in a minute. Let's get a, a mission started here that does look like I'm about out of ammunition, so I'm going to have to change over to something else. I don't think I have any bullets. We'll just have to use our moves, I guess. <laughs> just go around punching people. So this is the mission, Kingston Communications Repeater. It's going to take two minutes or less, and that's our rewards down there. Stuff. So it's going to start it up. But yeah, no, uh, no connectivity issues. Very rare in video games these days. There's still time. Yeah, I mean... I'm a pessimist. <laughs> <laughs> there's still time that we end up having issues. Yeah, the, the multiplayer is really easy to Multiple get started. To infiltrate this far end. Protect the repeater until it's fully reactivated. All right, so looks like we got a defense mission. Ooh. Lots of gas tanks around there. Should be careful. I'll try not to explode you, Jinx. That's fine. <laughs> and the shotgun Ooh. is serious. I haven't tried the shotgun yet. Yeah, I think this is the first time I've used it. So you start with uh, the assault rifle, and then the... And then the shotgun and the sniper rifle. Can you blow these up? Nope. And it's kind of like a... A hero shooter in a way, because you have these... Different characters that you can select between. There's three of them. When you first start, and each have different abilities. So I'm playing as Ajax, which is the defensive guy. Tank man. And so I can put up these shields here. And that will block enemy shots. Doesn't help if they get behind the shield, though. And then I also have this cool, like, jump move. That I can do. Yeah, and go stomp on people. And then Jinx is playing as Ice Bielsa. Lady. <laughs> what are you calling her? The Elsa. Because she has like Elsa's powers. Yeah, I just ran from Frozen. Ice. Yeah, she's Ice Ice Lady. I don't know who I want to play like longer term. Yeah, because if you get, I think it's like four thousand gold. Then you can purchase a new character. Wasn't it 400,000? Or 400,000, excuse me. What did I say, 4,000? Yeah. Like, that's a low price. So I think we're done here. Move to the operation zone. So if you get 400,000, then you can purchase... And that's the mission, guys. Super easy. You can purchase a new descendant. That's what they call their operators in this game. So Jinx is trying to consider who she wants to pick for the long term. 
Because again, when you start, you just have these three options, which are the two that we're currently playing as, and then some grenade guy. Which Jinx was considering picking the grenade guy. Yeah, because you know I like grenades. Oh. I don't know, nice like a, the female characters, the ice lady kind of seems like the coolest, or at least the least annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you were considering playing as the rabbit lady, yeah. Bunny. Yeah, it seems like everyone's playing as Bunny. Yeah, everybody's playing as Bunny, because again, she's the one that has that outfit. Looks like we got a friend with us. She's a little too upbeat for my face. Yeah, because she's in the little tutorial mission, which you've already completed. Very chipper. I got level four. Just, you said you're very chipper? No, I said she's very <laughs> chipper. Which is the Not opposite really of my Jinx. vibe. I was looking for someone a little more depressing, but... <laughs> yeah, they're all kind of upbeat. All very Japanese. How are we supposed to be doing? Or I guess Korean. Is this a Korean game? Yeah. Still, though, it's that same kind of, like, anime. Like, everybody's so chipper and talks, talks like this. This guy looks cool with the horns and all. I'm not really digging his abilities overall. See, I was considering playing him as well, just because I like the shield. The more supportive role. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's alright. It's nice to be able to, like, for boss battles particularly, I think, be able to sit behind a shield and protect your, uh, your team. But not really my play style. There's a double jump, as ridiculous as that is. So you can kind of got a grapple. Yeah, we haven't really showed the grapple much yet, have we? No, it makes me sick. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll... I did it once and I was like, woo! That's how you get up on top of these buildings here, guys. It doesn't look like it'll let me get on that one. It's like I will not be using that in combat. Yeah, you do have a grapple ability, which is cool. You can use it while jumping. Spider-Man. Yeah, you're Spider-Man oh, in it. I'm not Spider-Man. Around the game level. <laughs> and it seems like they don't take any damage, uh, any fall damage either. So that's interesting. I guess we'll go ahead and start the next mission. I think that's the one we just... Oh. Is it? I don't know. Oh, last emergency communicator. I don't know. I guess we'll do it. That doesn't look like a mission we did. I'm dropping in some uh, enemies here. I'm coming, battle buddy. Yeah, I'm just surprised with how like smooth everything is. I've encountered a little bit of lag. Sure. Yeah, th there is some uh, frames per second drop, some FPS drop every uh, once in a while. That's not what I mean though. Oh. I meant more like... Like we were able to get in yeah, and play. Which I know doesn't sound all that incredible. It's like the basic, what you'd expect from a game. But after our recent experiences with multiplayer games, it is kind of notable. We've it's had like, like oh, nothing but play. issues. Yeah. I can get with my friends and we can shoot stuff. Yeah, and no, it's like really easy to throw somebody on your friend list. Like, the game has its own separate friend list. Got people behind us. Oh, well. You take care of them, I'm behind the shield. There's a lot of dudes over here. I feel like I need a grenade or something. How about an ice shard? Let's switch over to the shotgun. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, the shotgun's pretty cool. I always like shotguns in, in games. I think it's called the Gangster. Is the name of the gun. Oh, we almost lost the last one. Okay, Descendant. You should join Bunny at the theater outpost. I'll send a sit rep to HQ with the emergency communicator. Wait, Volga's signals are spiking. What the hell? You're getting closer, descendant. But my work here is already complete. 
All forces, extract the ancestors' data. Transfer it to my command center. I will personally deliver it to Lord Carell. Vulgar signals are coming from the Magister lab. Isn't that HQ's target? This isn't good. I need to report this to Alpha immediately. You guys are just coming out of nowhere. <laughs> Coughing up like days. Oh, they <laughs> literally are. Well, they're dropping from that ship up above us. No, they're getting Let's go. But yeah, I'm not like I'm not loving his abilities so far. So yeah, you only get the the four abilities for each character. I don't know if you get to change those at any time. I think you can at least like uh, improve them. I'll show you guys the inventory once we finish up this mission. There's a Different lot options. to it. There actually is, yeah. There's a lot to the game. I opened up that menu. I was like, mm, I don't know what that is. Mm-hmm. Close that. From Kingston. How the hell did this happen? Do my staff still think this is all a coincidence? What exactly do you mean by that, Alpha? Things went south as soon as the guide arrived in Kingston. And not only that, but it seems the Vulgus are after the same target as we are. Alpha. That's probably because the enemy has the Iron Heart. I don't think it has anything to do with the guide. We'll have answers once we investigate the Ancestors' facility. It's too late for that. The Vulgus have surrounded the facility. Descendant, we need you to retake the base seized by the enemy. HQ will review the direction of the operation in the meantime. Over and out. Okay, so that unlocked a new battlefield, the Fallen Theater. So I don't know if there's still missions for us to do here, if we just move to the next location. But I do want to show you guys the inventory. So here's our level, level 5 and our mastery rank. Uh, we got the three weapons equipped, your primary weapon, the one you'll access by pressing triangle, and then the one that you access by holding triangle. And you see I've already gotten a whole bunch of weapons just from doing these missions. Looks like some of these assault rifles are an improvement on what we currently have, some level 4 ones. So yeah, we'll switch over to those. See if there's any new actual weapons though. It looks like they're all... Oh, never mind. We'll take that back. We got a submachine gun. Yeah, we'll keep the assault rifle and just use the best one. We do have two different choices for the level 4. Let's just select one of these and see if there's any difference between the two of them. Doesn't seem like it's... Do we need to place the modules now? Okay, so the modules do carry over when you switch weapons. So we have this fire enhancement module in place right now. So it adds like a fire attack equal to 8%. We also have a 12% attack modifier. We'll put that in place as well. And I'm guessing this module capacity here limits how many of these you would have put in place besides just the eight here. You know, the actual capacity cost will play a role. Let's save that. And we'll see if we got a better sniper rifle to make use of. Yeah, I guess we'll put this one. And see if we got any additional modules for that. Oh, we do. And then, I think I had a shotgun as well. Yeah, these are huge uh, jumps in attack power with each level. My sniper rifle's bigger than I am. It's kind of <laughs> silly. And then, you know, put these modules in place as well. Do you need to, like, remove modules from weapons? Maybe if you switch to an entirely different weapon, but I don't know. So far, I've seen that it carries over. It seemed like my one sniper rifle module didn't, didn't carry over. Oh. Could be wrong there, but let's take a look here. Yeah, like this one didn't. Can you not, uh, there you go, square. So let me see now if that's available. It's not. Ooh, we're being okay, attacked. doesn't matter. Oh, wow. So we were like being shot at while we we're in the menu. It's nice that it lets you know that you are. <laughs> like, hey, you're in a combat zone. Oh, we don't have any bullets. Or shells, I should say. 
like we were busy. So we'll take care of these guys. And then uh, we'll go back into the menu here. But yeah, that's the, the inventory guys. There's also this reactor over here, which affects the, the skills that you have. So I've seen that these do improve the skills. I don't know if those change the ones that you have access to. It seems like it doesn't. I think the, the main way to change the skills you got access to is from the uh, you know, selecting a new descendant. All right, so we want to put one of these level three ones in place. I mean, it does seem like it changes the, like the attribute of the skill. I didn't know we were on a mission. Oh, are we? I guess. <laughs> Somebody just joined the mission. So put that in place, and we're it looks like we have something out. else that we can add on here, too. Increasing our, our uh, HP. So it states the battlefield here has been cleared, so we can move over to this location. So let's fast travel to the Fallen Theater. Let me show the loading as well, like how long it takes. And again, it's all pretty smooth. For what we've experienced lately, which if you've been following our channel for a while, then you guys know some of the issues we've had. Constantly griping about games. Yeah, just constantly having problems with the, the multiplayer games. I know we're supposed to do this mission, but I kind of want to kill these people over here <laughs> quick. I just want to shoot Damn, I got level stuff. 6 already. I'm like not hitting me. I'm trying to shoot one of our friends. Is there friendly fire? No. Okay. I keep forgetting I can roll. Yeah, might be rolling on time. I love rolling. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's talk to Bunny. I don't wanna. <laughs> this doesn't feel good. It seems like Alpha doesn't trust the guide at all. The RK from the guide felt familiar. That makes me think she's on our side. Oh! What if Alpha can't link to the guide because of RK? He doesn't use his RK abilities much these days. <sighs> Who knows? Let's focus on the operation for now. I'll go scout every nook and cranny in Kingston. And I'll look for that annoying enemy commander as well. I'll leave the Volgus siege to you. They're starting to spread out like they own the place. Alright, catch you later. Don't push yourself too hard. So she seems to be like an important main character here in the beginning. Which I guess why, why she, she's not one of the, the starting characters you can play as. Alright, so we're doing the Volgus Field Generator. Get us 4,000 gold. The Volgus have established a field power plant in the area. It seems to be linked to the Magister Lab. It must be destroyed. Wait, wait, hold up. Do not shoot at or blow up that power plant unless you want it to explode. We need to detonate the circuits using a high voltage fuse. The construction core captain will show you how to handle this. So listen carefully. Like, I don't have anybody talking to me. <laughs> you can't hear her in your, your game? Uh uh. That's weird. First up. I figures I put my shield up when everybody's already dead. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about the the auto aim. It particularly messes me up on the uh, the sniper rifle. Like when you're trying to get a headshot, mm -hmm. it always wants to aim center mass. Aim small, miss small. Yeah, I just gotta pick this up here. Oh, there's a bunch of letters everywhere. Okay, I guess we'll go to A Alpha first. That makes sense. Goody ball. Can I shoot? Yeah, I can still shoot. I wasn't sure with this item in my hand. <laughs> okay, so we need to... Oh, I dropped the item when I shoot. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, this thing? Yeah. That's why I was asking if I could shoot. Seems you cannot. It's a bomb. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bomb. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to explode that. That's one generator down. I find it hard 
to hold or to push the L1 and R1 together to punch. Really? Yeah, I can't time it right. Fingers are weird, I guess. I mean, I timed it just fine, but I still missed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, does a spin hit? Like, who does that? Doesn't seem like the most <laughs> effective way to fight. It's like, I need you to punch now, please. <laughs> I'm just really not sure like how efficient my frosty run is. <laughs> yeah, you gotta show some of your abilities, Jinx. We haven't really gotten to see these yet. I mean it's it's happening right now. Yeah, this is your very eyes. Okay, so this is your frosty run. Yeah, I painted the place. You leave frost all over the ground and then It hurts them, I guess. I think it freezes them. It freezes their tootsies. It's oh, over here. And what other abilities you got? Um, I can shoot icicles. <laughs> like anybody want popsicles? For a little popsicle snack, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I mean, you know I'm bottom. always gonna bring the snacks. She's always got the snacks. I'm a mom. She's mommy. <laughs> <laughs> go to the zoo and shit. Jinx will have like a whole bag I'm full of snacks. I'm hungry. I'm like, oh, I got you. <laughs> you know I got snacks. Just fire wildly. That's why I don't ever have any <laughs> ammunition. Because when in doubt, enter your magazine, guys. The game hasn't been terribly difficult. I know we're in the beginning. But... Yeah. I mean, yeah, so far it's been pretty easy. I can dig some of this guy's moves. It's not bad. Oh, we got the sniper rifle out. Wow. Because we're all out of ammunition. <laughs> oh, we got ammunition. I don't know why he switched over that. Sure, I press the button. <laughs> Jinx leaving her icicles there, a little, little frost trail everywhere. My frosty foots. That was the final generator. Ha! I bet they weren't expecting us to use the fuses like that. Descendant, powerful reinforcements have arrived. It's okay if I don't remind you what to do again. Yeah. Every time I place those bombs, I run from them, but it turns out you don't need to run. They're tiny. Yeah, the tiny bombs. Explosion. But yeah, the, uh, the auto-aim, like I was saying, kind of messes me up, because I don't expect it to be so strong. Like, it just really zooms it right into the enemies. I know you can probably turn it down, but it results in me moving it too much, because I expect I need to move a bit more. I mean, we got like a little mini Ooh, boss battle here. Guy. I got a shield up. He's really not all that tough. He's so tough. This longfish guy took a snack break. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you see him sitting there snacking? He's just waiting for us to do all the work. Alright, so we got a bunch of goodies, consumables and stuff. Yeah, we did. Goodness. I guess we can take a look at our inventory, see what all we got. Uh, we can rank up our mastery. Yeah, I saw that notification, but I didn't know what it meant because I didn't actually get through the tutorial. <laughs> I feel like you can only do that at Albion. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Like, I'm not seeing an option to do it here. And there was a, a location I found in Albion where that's what you're supposed to be doing, like ranking your mastery up. All right, so we did get a new... Phase reactor. Just go and put that in place. And some item over here. Looks like this is an increase our shield or defense. Let's put that in place. And I'm sure we got a ton of new weapons. Yeah. A whole bunch of new weapons. Oh, we got a machine gun. Hmm. Noise. I might have to make use of that instead of our sniper rifle. Yeah, let's try this out, guys. So let's put this one in place. See how it compares to the other one. Seems that uh, it's better or the same. And then also get this new shotgun hood in there. Last weapon here, guys. Uh, let me get to this one. I'm over here messing with my inventory with Jinx's <laughs> <laughs> fighting. Don't worry, I'll keep you alive. I gotta try out this machine gun here. 
All right, so it looks like next mission is right over here. And we'll try out our new weapon. Oh, okay, we're joining this one? Longfish. Oh, where did we go? We're joining this longfish guy. Oh, okay. So I'm throwing off, not really sure what we're supposed to be doing. I guess fighting these guys. Are we clearing the building or defending it? Oh. I don't know. Killing all Look these dudes. Look at us go. <laughs> did we complete the mission as soon as we joined? Yeah, we did. Alright, so that was a pretty easy mission. Since we joined it when he had almost completed it. Do you trust the guide? I don't know. At my initial reaction is to not trust her, because I don't trust anybody. So I would say no, but... But they want so hard for you to not trust her. Yeah, but that makes me think that you're supposed to. But they want you to trust her, too, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and I don't trust anybody. Just naturally. Now, can we break these boxes? What? You can't roll and break these. Look at these boxes. They're absolutely pathetic. Looks like you're blowing them too hard, they're gonna fall apart. There are no boxes. So no destructible environments, guys. It's unfortunate. That would be a bit much to ask. Would it be? <laughs> uh, this is a 15 minute mission. It's got a level six monster, a legion of darkness. Ooh. Spooky. Looks like we've got a ton of stuff as well. And do you want to start a private operation or a sure. public? I guess we'll do a private one. We got this, I think. Okay, so this is a hard one infiltration operation. So this is the first time we've gone to one of these type of missions. Reminds me of like an MMO. Yeah. Where you have what they call like instances. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah. I know some stuff, Jinx. <laughs> Jinx is the MMO player, not me. Are we too late? The ancestors' data should not be underestimated. Not only does it have immense capacity, it's also quantum encrypted. Even the magisters who worked here doing research have said that full data extraction is impossible. Magisters? Do you mean the technologists who were once allied with the Vulcans? One of the complaints I've seen is the lack of enemy variety. And we have not seen too many different enemies so far. Again, we just started, so I wouldn't give it too much crap yet. But uh, if this is all you fight, then yeah, I can see that being an issue. Yeah. Yeah, you're just like shooting at people. <laughs> but yeah, it feels a lot like Destiny. I tried getting into that. We had considered playing it together, but yeah, it's, it's very similar to it in a sense. Since it's got those moves. I need a shield. Well, I'm up here. Using the high ground, Jinx. Oh, okay. <laughs> Get behind Tactics. the shield. Tactics. Almost did. Our shield's gone. Crikey. We did it. Is that it? Oh, I thought I could pick up his gun. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> alright. I don't think I'm going to be able to carry this. But... Alright, we get all these goodies. I love how when my character stops running, she seems like her boobs are just like really heavy. And she's like, oh, my back hurts. The ancestor's data remains in this terminal. I will check the other terminals. But it seems the Vulgus were successful with their extraction. That can't be right. If it were possible to fully extract the data, then the Magisters would have already done it. Until recently, it would have been impossible for the Vulgus as well. However, if they have someone on their side who is very familiar with the Ironheart, then it will have been achievable. By applying algorithms from the Ironheart to military applications, Electronic warfare capabilities can be greatly improved. I recommend we investigate the other terminals. Descendant, did you come here looking for me? 
Or did you come to witness the superior technology of Argus? I am Greg, commander of the invading Argus forces. It is a shame that I am unable to face you directly. <laughs> oh. Oh, Greg, you silly goose. And yeah, we still haven't killed this Greg guy. <laughs> Someday we'll meet, friend. And we will kill you. Oh, I didn't realize I got my other ability unlocked. Did you get yours? Oh, I sure did. Yeah, the square? We'll have to see what that is. Oh, we'll find an enemy to use it. <laughs> I don't even know what it does. Oh. oh. Okay, this is the one that's the... It's a shield that goes completely around you. Like a 360 shield. Well, this guy's got a shield. Yeah, I noticed that. Got it behind him. Bastard. Oh, that explodes. <laughs> Super smart. <laughs> <laughs> Shot a box that explodes right when I was standing next to it. It happens. I didn't know it exploded. Thought there's goodies in it. Oh, yeah. I smacked it too. Oh, the one that says shells? <laughs> yeah. I thought I could I thought it was like thing. shotgun shells yeah. or something like that. You can't uh, tell me I need to smack boxes and then have boxes that explode when you smack them. <laughs> I guess we'll go back to using this machine gun here. Resurrection limit. What is that supposed what to mean? What does that mean? Jeez, look at all these enemies. I was gonna triangle and give him the whole triangle, but I hit a circle <laughs> instead. <laughs> Same thing. Oh, we can take a lot Shakes of damage. Shakes are hard. But yeah, so far the game has not been all that, that difficult yet. We'll see if they step it up like as you get further. And they throw enemies that run at you and explode in your face. I guess that yeah, would cause a problem. that's true. Did you notice those ones? The exploders? Yeah. Yeah. Did you see those? Shoot when those they first. explode in my face. <laughs> Try and shoot them before they get to you, Jinx. Or let them money shot you. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. Whatever makes the money, I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What are you supposed to be doing it here? Is there I like an objective like just to feed all the time? So that you know I'd be wasted on my face. But, yeah. You know. Getting vulgar. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me though, it was the game. <laughs> Set me up. Yeah, the game did that. Gotta press a button over here. Did you actually need some life things? No, I just want them. I'm greedy. <laughs> This terminal also does not contain the Ancestor's data. However, Descendant, I sense the transmission of the Ancestor's data is happening close by. That is not likely where the enemy command center is located. As the enemy sealed off Kingston's network, trying to invade over a long distance would have been impossible. This means we still have an opportunity to retrieve the Ancestor's data. Trying to use my abilities, but I can't. I don't have <laughs> yeah. any like uh, oh, magic geez. or whatever. Yeah. It's talking smack. I mean, they still didn't do much to our health. But. No, but I felt like maybe I was a little startled. <laughs> you felt a little scared, James. A little bit. So let's pick up all these goodies, and then we'll press the button again. The game's pretty fun, though. Like, for free. Yeah, I mean, this is free to play. <laughs> it's always nice having games that we can play together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it gives you a ton of crap. I mean, it doesn't feel like, again, I don't know how grindy it's going to get when you stick to the free-to-play model as you go a bit bit further in the game. Oh, it's about to take us to Albion. Because we finished mission. Yeah, maybe it gets really bad, like, the further you go. But thus far, I haven't really felt, like, compelled to purchase anything. They're handing out the gold pretty liberally. 
Again, to purchase an operator, you need 400,000. And, uh, I don't know, we'll be getting, you know, thousands every mission. And the missions are relatively quick. All right, so here we got all kinds of stuff, guys. Leveled up Ajax and the proficiency with our weapons. You can clearly see which weapons I've been using the most here. And got all kinds of goodies. Yeah, all kinds of crap over here. How much uh, damage did you do, Jinx? Or how many people did you kill? Um, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> how many did you kill, Jinx? It doesn't matter. We're comparing numbers here. Like 34 total. Okay, so 22 weapons and the rest were with the skills. But I had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I got 74. I looted a bunch of boxes. <laughs> <laughs> good job, Jinx. All right, so I guess we're just going to go ahead and close this, right? And move down, Albion. Damn it! The situation continues to get worse! But that doesn't mean everything is lost. If we hit the enemy command post now, we can still retrieve the data for the guide. Now, did you just say, retrieve the data for the guide? This is the Albion hub zone. It's like your typical MMO or looter shooter multiplayer hub. Where you just, uh, you see players running around, all looking the same, jumping a lot. <laughs> yeah, to be looking careful, cool. I don't follow the wrong guy. <laughs> yeah, Jinx was following around the wrong Ajax. I was like, oh, you're in a mailbox. Who's this man? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, we did get a notification here about compensation for opening day issues. Apparently there were some problems. Uh, we didn't run into them, but we didn't start till late tonight either, though. Uh, we did see some notifications about it, though. So they're attaching some oh, nice little modifiers bonuses. here. So you get uh, increased experience, weapon proficiency, like shard and gold gain. Well, we should have got that first. I think I don't think it was here because I looked in the mailbox. Oh. Yeah, we're going to take all that. It lasts for three days. But yeah, it would be nice if we had had it when we started. Yeah, that's helpful. Oh, we can paint our weapons red. Oh, is that what that one thing is? Yeah. Okay. I don't really like the color red, honestly. I don't either. But I also don't like brown. <laughs> that's true. All right, so this is special operations terminal where you can do special operations on the different uh, maps, which that shows you all the different map areas. We were just on Kingston. This is the only one we've shown so far and the rest of these are, are still locked. So there are quite a few different maps that have a bit of a variety in where you're fighting, where you're killing the enemies. Have infiltration operations. Yeah, this is all like operations I guess you can engage in, missions you can do. There's something in here. I wanna say this is how we level up, yeah. The prime hand. So if you're able to do this, your mastery rank, you want to come where I'm at, Jinx. And this will allow us to rank it up, which will increase our our module capacity for our weapons and our descendants, uh, increased equipment, storage, consumable inventory, all kinds of good stuff here. And I guess we get a nice little cutscene here. As our character levels up. Wow, so cool. Do we look any different or just more powerful? Nah, it looks the same. <laughs> I thought he would look cooler. He's looking at himself like... He's like, I don't see any difference. <laughs> He's like, I feel cooler though. Okay, so you get a cutscene <laughs> when that happens. That seemed a little unnecessary. <laughs> Jinx is powering up right now. My boobies are jiggling. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up guys, we gotta see this <laughs> jiggle animation. Everybody's wondering why I'm not playing as a chick, know, or why, right? why you're not the one on the screen. You're showing no goodies. Nope. I'm not got making horn. no money. I got horns, Jinx. I mean, sure, that's pretty cool. 
I do like the horns. All right, so that's our mission. So we won't go over there just yet. As you can see, there's a lot of characters playing as Bunny or the the Frost Lady. Everybody wants to be the ladies. Oh my god, it's a panda bear. Yeah, that's one of the outfits. I don't know if you guys noticed that when you ran by here. I want to be a panda bear. There's a panda outfit. There's a... God, there's a couple other outfits as well. He's so cute. Let me see if I can look at that. I think it's in the descendant here. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't messed with this too much. Maybe it's in customize? Descendant skins? Uh. Yeah. So you got a panda, you get a dinosaur, dinosaur pajama. Jammies. And then you got, like, you know, I guess armor or whatever. Ew, Different boring. types of armor. I mean, not as cool <laughs> as, as a panda. I want dinosaur jammies. <laughs> uh, we can also put a, I need squirrel a squirrel on us. Okay, so these oh, are all for like decorations does it and cost stuff. Money? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you could preview that. I need it. I don't know. It says it's acquired in game, so oh, okay. something you got to unlock. All right. So Just stuff you can do the things and you'll get the stuff. Stuff you can wear on yourself. I didn't know you could preview it. There's the panda outfit. <laughs> There's the dino. Oh god, put oh, your that's, mask back on. That's what my face looks like, huh? Okay. He's a grizzled old man. Alright, so so cool helmets with different horns. It's like a rhino horn. Yeah, it's not as cool. That, oh, one's, that one's cool. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we want to get the Dark Matter one, if we're able to. We'll see what all is available here. Well, you can put like a, a rocket on your back. <laughs> and get different chest attachments. <laughs> it's zoomed in to Jinx's <laughs> breast right now. She's so childish. <laughs> get a back attachment. Yeah, look at it. I got a bunny on my back. Aww. <laughs> you can get a panda. How much is it? <laughs> Jinx gonna spend some real money. Here. No, I don't yeah. think I've ever spent real money on a, on digital items. Yeah, I don't think we have any makeup options other <laughs> than the fact that we wear a mask. But oh, Jinx I have might a have classic some. maid uniform. Oh wow, <laughs> wow wow wow! So Jinx essentially has different hairstyles instead of different helmets. Put some dye in your hair. Yeah. All right, this is the dinosaur pajamas. So cool. <laughs> There's the panda adventure. All right, well, there's a blue one. That's kind of cool. I feel like the dark matter one's the one we want to aim to get, though. If we want to stick with Ajax, which I don't know that I do. Now, you can see here with your descendants, when you go into the descendant list, I wanted to go through these show there's quite a different uh, quite a few different options this is what jinx is playing as bielsa <laughs> mm -hmm. bielsa and you can see why jinx is so distracted <laughs> there's also these uh these ultimate ones which i assume you'd have to like oh well you know what actually people said that you can get those from playing So that's the bunny character again. Doesn't really fit Jinx's personality. No, it doesn't. Got the ultimate Ajax. I think I'm gonna try for Freyna. So I think these ultimates might have different abilities too. Maybe, or maybe not. Yeah, those might be the same. You're gonna try for her? Yeah, I think so. The Dominator of Venom. Yes. So, so you're gonna cool. be the dominatrix. This girl's just weird. I don't know weird. what's going on with this chick. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the ultimate Vieza, or Vielsa, excuse me. The Vulgus can't. See There's assassin. Why? Because I exist in the blind spot. She's got booby physics too. <laughs> I thought that's a so, deadly cock. What's my role? <laughs> Cook or arsonist? 
well, I want to play as this guy. The deadly cog. <laughs> yeah. It's deadly. Well, really, though, I just think his abilities are kind of cool. He's a wizard. He's got fire. He's a fucking wizard. He's a pit master. He cooks. He's got a little bit of a beard. Yeah, he cooks people. Oh, okay. Gross. They're bad guys. So as you can see, a lot of these are elemental based. You got the electricity, the fire, the water. It doesn't seem to be earth based though. With my strength, I will pull everything towards me. They're all very confident in their mm -hmm. abilities. And, and this, this is guy, a stinky guy. He just smells himself. Yeah. The most important things on the back. This is the matrix scene right here. <laughs> Whoa. He's the supply guy. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. And this is the medic. This is another character Jinx was considering playing, just because she wants to play the medic. A dream is for you all not to get hurt. And nothing this is the outfit. Ultimate bunny. <laughs> She's not wearing Beeps. much. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got the ultimate glay. <laughs> we don't need to see any more of her. <laughs> Anyways, those are the yeah, different descendants. The stinky outfits cost more money. Oh, do they? But you can still get them in the game, though, right? I don't know. We'll see. Cause I think you can get. I want. I feel like you can get all these things in game. That's the money, money. The caliber. Yeah. So as you guys can see, there's a, there's a lot here. Got all these different consumables. I'm not entirely sure. What to do with all these? Just shit. Something we'll have to kind of look into. Lots of customization, like with your name card. I don't think we have any options available here just yet. UI themes, so you can change up the UI. Again, stuff I gotta look into. Got emotes. So you can like salute. Sit, although that's a very seductive sit. <laughs> of course it is. Okay, so you have some emote options for those of you who use emotes. I don't think I ever do in these games. There's also a store. I haven't shown that yet. That's over here. Uh, or maybe it's over this way. All little icons or you know different things you can click on. And so, lots of people want the store currently. Keep it short. And so you can sell your equipment at the store. And that's a good way to get some gold, it would seem. Now, it does have a junk mechanic. So you can, you know, go through your stuff as you're getting it and then mark it as junk once you know it's something you don't want to keep. And then you can just select, you know, select the, the shop and then just sell all your junk. Now, here's that bunny outfit, by the way. Somebody's already in it. <laughs> of course. Been playing all day or spent some real money to get it. I assume. Man, that, like, the caliber money is expensive. How much is it? It's $20 for 1000 For 1060 caliber? Yeah. And that's, and that's the with the bonus. 60 bonus, I see. Yeah. So it's 1000 and then you get the 60 bonus. So how much uh, does everything cost for well, caliber? Well, the maid outfit was like a bundle with the hat and the outfit. That was mm -hmm. 750 Okay, so, so you're spending almost $20. Almost 20 bucks. To get an outfit in a game. But it's also a free game. But so how bad do you want to be a hoe? Yeah. <laughs> how bad do you want to look good? So you gotta spend money to make money. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna make money? I don't know. People be over here. I'll whisper you. you. The laboratory? I don't have access to this laboratory just yet. But yeah, lots of people to talk to. You're here for months. So you can dismantle your modules or enhance them. Again, all stuff I'm going to have to explore off camera and see exactly what it does. Another thing over here you can access. If it's new research, I'm listening. So this is where you do the research. So I think that this is how you get uh, the descendants using gold. Oh. It might be where you get the outfits. I'm not sure. Maybe in the Descendants, perhaps? Nope, this is just the Descendants. So you can see that these are going to be 400,000. 
And it seems almost like you need additional items too. Yeah, so you need um, some additional items. Yeah, because we were doing that mission to get her suit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we already have two of the, the four things we need. So you can't even unlock these until you do certain missions. I see. So I think that's why she's in the beginning of the game, because you're, you're doing the stuff to unlock her as a character. All right, so I wasn't aware of that. You can also purchase these weapons. So can you just purchase the the things that you need in order to unlock those characters? That's what it looks like. So you can do this quicker if you wanted to. Here's the weapon material. I'm not seeing where you can purchase research as they call it. Like their outfits. Yeah, I don't see, I mean, granite. Maybe it's somewhere we haven't been yet, but I haven't seen anything to where you can get the outfits. It would make sense that you'd have to pay for them because mm -hmm. it's cosmetic. Like maybe you might get something for a mission, maybe. I mean, it does say it's acquired in the game, though, Jinx. True. Some of them. This one doesn't. So Dark Matter, which of course is the coolest one, says you have to purchase it. Mm-hmm. And so we looked at it, it's 125. Well, that's not bad, I guess. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> but you can see that some of these can be earned, acquired in the game. This one can. The blue one. Well, I mean, it's blue. And it seems that's it. <laughs> yeah, the rest that of these need all. to be purchased. Essentially, like, all the cool ones need to be purchased. Of course. I mean, it's not surprising, guys. It's... It's a free-to-play game, so that's how they make their money, is from the cosmetics. Like, if you want to look cool, you gotta pay. Gotta cough it up. Alright, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and end this first episode here. So far, I'm, I'm liking what the game has to offer for a free-to-play. It's fun enough. I enjoy the combat. And it seems like there's a lot of different options and customization available. And it doesn't seem like you have to purchase anything unless you want to look cool or sexy or whatever. I mean, I look pretty sexy for free. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the character looks fine. I mean, obviously I'm not digging the brown on the armor, but yeah, like it's, it gives you another option to uh, earn an outfit in the game. So at least there's that. Yeah, there's always going to be a, in a free to play game. You got to expect that they're going to have some stuff to sell and they got to make it appetizing for you to want to, to actually drop real money on it. Uh, but what I've been most impressed with the game so far is the stability. Uh, so far it's, uh, again, we have had some FPS drops, but uh, thus far it's been really, really smooth experience with connecting. I don't know if we've really shown that at all. But here in the social, you know, it's really easy to do a player search for your friend and then add them into the friend list, and then you can easily play with them again uh, to find other players there in your area and send them off a party invitation or a friend request. So you can see their level and all that kind of stuff. Again, these are kind of basic things for a a multiplayer or MMO game or whatever, but with the games we've been playing lately, they have not even had some of that basic functionality or they've had issues with it. So it's it's an improvement. And I think some people have had some issues here on launch day, but we haven't had any problems. Again, we're playing a lot later in the day. So maybe they fixed those issues already. Or maybe it's just because not many people are playing because it's late at night. So I hope you guys did enjoy this first episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell and leave a comment. We're definitely going to be playing an episode two later this week. If you're looking for anything to watch while you wait for that next video, check out the front page of our channel. Got a ton of videos all sorted by genre, so you should be able to find something to watch. If you're looking for any links, check out the description of any of our videos. You'll find links to our PayPal, Patreon, and Teespring store if you'd like to help support the channel. You can also become a member here on YouTube. You'll find links to our Discord if you'd like to join our community. And finally, find links to all of our social media if you'd like to follow us on those. So I do hope to see you guys on the next episode, and thanks for watching.